Hi, in this video I want to show you how to create a custom pad for your service mount footprint. This will be our example, the Gallium Arsenide Transistor. So what you do is go to PCB Editor and go to File, New, and create a shape symbol. So the drawing name will be B because that's what they name it in here. You can call it B1 or and B, B1 plus B2, but I'll just call it B. Click OK. The units are in millimeters for the data sheet, so I'll go with that. The center is the origin. The shape symbol is needed, so we can import that into PadStack Editor. So that's why we're creating a shape symbol. Now let's go to Shape Polygon. Etch Top. So Etch Class and Top Subclass. For the static solid, I want my shape fill to be a static solid. For the shape grid and segment type, uh, let's see, for the current grid, I think, yeah. And then for the segment type, I'll go line orthogonal, yeah. Now, I can start drawing my shape, right? So it looks something like the end goal of what I'm looking for. Um, and I just canceled out of it. So let's go back to shape polygon. All right, good. You can set it to no grid or current grid, uh, but I'll go with current grid. Now, let's choose our thing here. Our origin is this X. And if I go in the E, let's see. Okay, so this distance from X to the origin of the overall package is E. But I want to look at the vertical distance for this B1 shape. Notice how it's separated into B1 and two B2s on the side. So B1 height is 5.17. I want to go half that in the Y direction. Five point one seven divided by whoops five point one seven divided by two is two point five eight five. All right. So I'll do x y zero coordinate two point five eight five. That's my starting point. Now, if I use the x coordinate. The increment, I'll show you, I'll show you. Okay, so we have half of B1, 7.87 divided by 2, plus the X coordinate B2. Okay, so first of all, let's divide 7.85 by... So first of all, let's get rid of this answer. And divide 7... Oops. 7.87 divided by 2. Right, 3.935 plus 1.5 for B2 is X coordinate or X dimension. 5.435. Okay. So in the X, I want a 5.435. 5 Great. Now we'll go down in the Y direction by a certain distance. That'll be by the height of B2, 2.17. Here's a trick. Look at the last pick. So the last pick, X coordinate was this, and the last pick, Y coordinate was 2.585. We can do 2.585 in the Y minus 2.17. Let me double check. 2.17 for B2 vertical. I mean, Y direction? Yep. Okay. Our number is 0 0.415 in the Y coordinate. And notice how I can just enter the Y it by itself, and then hit Enter, and then it just picks it. That means I want to keep the same X coordinate. Okay, you get the idea. I will continue adding the dimensions. I'll speed this up.
All right, now we are going to right click, choose done, and the shape is finished. Let's go save this shape symbol. It gets saved as a .ssm shape symbol. Now go to Patch Stack Editor. That's under Cadence PCB Utilities if you're using 17.4. So Patch Stack Editor, we are going to make use of this shape symbol. Go File, New, and we can call this shape symbol B. I have it saved in my special Patch Stack folder. Pad stack usage through pin. No, I want SMD pin. Look, okay. I'll choose something like square, but it won't matter because I'll go to design layers, click on here, and instead of caring about the geometry square, we'll choose shape symbol. And my shape symbol is called B. I just created it. I just uh, made it and it shows up in this list. Now you can choose to create a new shape symbol. It will start up the Allegro library and graphics editor. So you can do it from here. So uh, that's good that Cadence included the option here. It's really nice. This copper pad is with this specific shape is made available. I'm going to right click copy and then right click paste the same shape symbol to the solder mask top this will be the expansion or not the expansion but this will be the solder mask opening and we'll leave it the same size as the copper on the design layer choose save and the pad stack is saved now you can use this pad stack to create or i keep calling it a pad stack but it's a pad now you can use this pad in your custom footprint just to demonstrate that let me show you we can go to file new then choose packet symbol wizard or packet symbol then drawing name we'll just call this test gs or something like that for the footprint click ok for the origin i'll put it i'll place it in the center of the drawing units will be in millimeters since the data sheet is in millimeters go to shape rectangular and package geometry assembly top is fine i'll make it the exact same width and vertical as the as the package so here we have a by b 11.02 by 9.02 okay you can place a rectangle 11.02 width by 9.02 height zoom in a bit this isn't quite going to be on the center but that's fine right click uh and i set the okay let's replace that i want it unfilled for this assembly great right click done now let's go and just do layout pins now we're going to find the pad stack that I saved, the special one that I saved, called B. Click OK. And there it is. You place it right there in the center, and there you go. The rest of the pads, you can, or the rest of the pins, you can select them, like A, for instance. You do it, and you place it. Right-click, choose Next. You go back there, and then there's a C that I made. Yes, here we go. And then you place them just like how the data sheet says. My grid is not set to what it's supposed to be, but that's how you do it. And then you can set your grid so you can move it more, the, more like the way you want to, but this is the footprint. That's how you do the custom pad for your footprint. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps, and uh, see you next time.